Hello, and welcome back to the Blackboard training series for the Johns Hopkins Cary Business School. In today's video, we are going to review edit mode, walk through uploading your course syllabus, and review the announcements section. Let's start with edit mode. When you first log into your Blackboard course site, you want to ensure that you are in edit mode. Notice there is a button found towards the top right hand corner of your screen. That reads, edit mode is, followed by a green dot and the word on. This indicates that your site is in edit mode and that you are able to post announcements, contents, quizzes, and other items. If you click the on button one time, it will gray out and turn to off mode. When the edit mode is off, you are essentially seeing the site as a student would. Any empty content areas will disappear from the navigation, as well as any content that has not yet been released or is date restricted. Simply click the button again to return to the on mode. The next item we want to look at is uploading your syllabus. Again, make sure the edit mode is on in order to upload this document. Once your syllabus is ready, you will proceed to the syllabus section of the course. By selecting syllabus, in the blue navigation area. Once in the syllabus area, you will see a default posting called standard syllabus. Notice it shows that this item is not available. This means you can see the item, but your students cannot. This item is a note and only intended for instructors. Also observe at this time, a new menu is available near the top of the screen in gray. This is the menu you will use to add content and media. To add our syllabus, we mouse over the Build Content button. This will open a submenu, giving us various options for different types of content we can add. For our purposes today, we want to go under Create and select File. This will take you to a form page that allows you to enter information about the file we are uploading, in this case, our syllabus. We'll start with the name field, which is required, as denoted by the small orange star. After you've entered the name for your syllabus, select the Browse My Computer button to navigate to the syllabus document on your local machine. Item number three, you have options to make the syllabus available to students by selecting yes or no. You also have the ability to track the number of times your syllabus is viewed, again, by selecting yes or no. And finally, you have the option of making your document available only during a certain date range. This setting is not required and may be left blank if you wish the item to always be available. The last step in the process is to press the Submit button in the bottom right of the screen. And we're all set. Our syllabus is now ready for our students to download. If at any time after you post you wish to edit the syllabus or any other item, simply mouse over the item's title and look for a small gray circle with a downward arrow to appear. This icon indicates the item is editable. Click on the circle to see the options available to you. Click on Edit to go back to the page we were previously working on. Or, if at any time you wish to delete an item, simply mouse down to the bottom of the submenu and select the word Delete. Blackboard will ask you to confirm this choice, as once you delete an item, it cannot be undone. The last item we want to review today is course announcements. Remember that by default, course announcements is the first page your students will see when entering your site. This is where you want to post important updates, reminders, and changes to the course throughout the semester. Note that when you create an announcement, you will have the option to send it to each student as an email. Let's create one now. We start by clicking on the gray navigation block below the section labeled Create Announcement. 
As with building the syllabus, this will take us to a form page to enter more information about our announcement. Note that the first field, subject, is required, again as indicated by the orange star. The message field below is a rich content editor, meaning you can style your posting however you like with different colors and fonts. For more advanced users, there are options to add images and video, as well as the option to construct your message as HTML code. For now, I'm just going to write a simple text message announcing that our course syllabus is available. As we saw previously, we have the option to specify a date range for your announcement. There is also a checkbox asking if you wish to send an email immediately, which I'm going to check because I want my students to know this information right away. And I do not wish for my announcement to be date restricted. Form item number three will allow you to add a file attachment if you wish, but this is not required. If you're happy with your announcement, Simply click on Submit to complete the posting. You can now see our announcement on the Blackboard Announcements page. If at any time you wish to make changes to a posted announcement, simply mouse over the title of the announcement and select the small downward arrow. Make a choice within the submenu to either edit or delete the announcement. Select OK to confirm your choice. If you choose the Edit option, you will be taken back to the Announcements form page, where you can correct typos or otherwise make modifications. If the Email Announcements box is checked, a new email will be sent to each student about this announcement. When finished, click Submit to publish the changes. This concludes today's tutorial. Please check out our next video for information on building course content and customizing your site navigation. Thank you.